Finir, welcome to our home. May you find a second wind here. One to fill your sails and send you across the world and back. That is an image I will fix in my mind, Wolfkist. Happy to be aboard. Uh, hey, Eivor! You are a good boy. Pleasure to see you, Eivor. London is with us, and cleansed of the Order. Good. Hytham will be pleased. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. Should we take this to your chamber? Hmm. No need. I should talk to Hytham. I want to see the Alliance map. What of Oxenefordshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. I should join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Ouse River that divides Oxenefordshire, Sigurd will be pleased to see you. The Order has been purged from London. For now, they hold no power there. That is good news. And I would celebrate, but for the fact that Jorvik now suffers from the same infestation. Jorvik is a city under Norse control. I should have less problems finding allies there. That is a hopeful way of seeing it. Speak to Ranvi when you wish to travel there. Do you need something? I have to go. Then. Hmm. I suppose it will do for the moment, though it lacks Eivor. Have you ever been in love? Why do you ask? I wonder if you know the feeling of having your very heart pulled from your chest as it pursues the elusive object of your desire. I wonder if you have ever known the bitter agony of seeing your beloved in the arms of another. I have known such a pain, and Maximus was its source. One of your lovers? Oh, God, no! No, no, no! Maximus is a snake and a leech. A slime-encrusted, blood-sucking viper of a man. He stole from me my beloved. A perfectly preserved statue of a legionnaire. It is all I desire in this world. Last I heard, Maximus was holed up in and around London. Holding my beloved captive. Leering and pawing at it, no doubt. If you should ever see him, give him my regards. By that, I mean spit on him. Then recover my statue. 
my dulci fruimini. I suppose it will do for the moment. Though it lacks the grandiosity of the... Uh, happy hunting! Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles, and you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area, and once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course. And your help, if possible. A good idea. I will join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around, just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Our settlement is in quite a nice spot. Beautiful terrain, and the animals here are healthy and populous. But wolves are a worry. It may be why the Ragnarsons moved on. Humans upset the balance of nature, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. Come this way. Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come. This way. Ah, smell that. That's a male wolf. Marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers. From further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings, as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned, a babe in the woods. We took him in. Look, the wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails, they must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Ah, see those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. So your family found Wallace in the woods? We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe, our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that. The pattern on the grass. They slept here. I'm impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. 
And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. Ah! Help! I think we found our wolves. You there! Get to cover! Eivor, with me. Let's end this. I'm at your sight. That should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowning Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't, but I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't hear... Oh, oh goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well, that worked out. This was grand, Ava. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks, I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humbled. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon. Wound. An alehouse. This must be it. Come on, let's go drink. Oh, I'll follow you then. with us. 
troops for cover. Hey, what? Tina. Anna. The secret is not here. I'll ask around. These soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I am asking a simple question. Look, Dane, you start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. You seem to respect this man, Giedrich. If he was talking to my brother, it's because he wants what's best for this Shire. Maybe you're a woman who also wants Xenophon's Shire to be free and to decide its own fate. A woman who'll stand up for her village, who won't be crushed under the boot of oppression. I hope I am. Such a woman would help me find Giedrich's friends. You're right, you are. Your brother and his friend jumped through that window there and scampered off towards the river. It's a good bet they hid in one of them fish houses. Sigurd and Basim headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. Go, oh, my eyes. <laughs> smells like a fish house. Wait! Stop! Alan was Sahalan Eivor. We could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolkist. Why so unnerved, brother? It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with the Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. Haven't you some murderous errands of your own, Basim? Why are you here at all? My path crossed with Sigurds long ago. We work together now, toward a single purpose. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with a promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this Shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods. All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount a surprise strike. If Giedrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. Sigurd. Has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? I heed Basim's wisdom, but he follows my lead, always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. 
Basin is secretive by nature, but he is wise and forthright, and he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible, it will shatter your mind to shards. Brother, our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the lords of Mercia, then all of England. But Basim has a deep insight. He's read wisdom in the lines of my face and heard the litany of my forefathers and... Well, there will be time enough for my saga later. Sigurd, kill this sweaty fishwife. Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex, begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex, and that poxy ass bastard Alfred. We won't have it. You're not the elderman here, Lady Edwin. Turn around and walk away. We'll leave you be. You heathenish fork-tongued Dane. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care. For you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd of the Hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms. Free my friend here and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. Oh. Get behind if you can. Gidrich, what have they done to you? What kind of mess did you get yourself into? Oh, oh. Me. Oh. I can still fight oh. these bastards. to fight. You should have freed me. Gidrich, this is Eivor, my stone-armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. 
to charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Eivor. Not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Skidridge. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk with... Where is with... she? Thane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands. But he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where, and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leech Vila garrison. Bathim! Eivor! To horse! Off again, Eivor. You and I, with blades drawn and hearts ablaze. Who is this Fulke that Basim spoke of? An ally, Eivor. A most important ally. A holy woman who trades in prophecies and secret knowledge. That is not the sort of alliance we're looking for, Sigurd. No, it's even better. You cannot imagine what discoveries await. You're speaking strangely, brother. Because I'm alive, Eivor. My heart's alight with the fuel of battle fire. Like old times, eh? Yes, Sigurd. Like old times. Remember our hunts beyond the northern way? Our first big kill was a ten-point deer. We brought it down together. The arrows from our bows like darts of ice. The sharpened skin bones for skinning the beast. You on the right, me on the left. We leapt and struck. We crashed to the ground like a felt tree. Then, the bloody struggle. Damn animal bit my hand. Never knew a buck could bite so hard. But I pierced its throat, spilling its life wine into the drifts. That put an end to him. Such tales you siblings tell. It's just one of a thousand, Asim. It was the glorious dawn of our lives. You haven't yet explained who this Fulke woman is. When the time is right, I will. She is the fulcrum of a larger plan. Above conquering England. What larger plan could we need? Patience, Ava. Patience. Fine. Keep your dread secrets, brother. But if this alliance fails, you would take them to your grave. This fever will break once you know the whole truth. I promise. Blade is thirsty, friend. They are about to execute the prisoners. I'll help the others. Ah! <laughs> 
Gatred sent me. Let's get away from this place.
yourself safely over there. We've fought with our Weasley Elder for years. Now he's with us to pop off our heads. Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He is safe in Buckingham. Good, Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman, Fulke. You see, brother, your mysterious Fulke has a mind in disarray. Mad or no, I want to speak with her. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the Church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Gidrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead. But we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Linforta, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. We Thanes will raise a feared and join with you to take down Edwin, whatever it takes. Bring this news to Giedrich, and tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed. No soldiers here now. Gidrez has cleared them all out. She's well supplied, that's for certain. Well done capturing these, lad. Oil jars, spring old arrows. Fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Gidrich. Eivor, do the Thanes live? Every single one. They've set out to raise a fear of fighting men. They all stand with you, Gidrich. We'll need every pike and poker we have to take down Edwin. And you, and your brother, are you still with me? I like your bluntness, Gidrich. My axe is yours. My brother's too. Edwin's plopped her haunches down in her castle now. She has men and supplies coming. Curse her eyes. Where is your brother and the odd fellow? They continue their search for the woman Fulke. He seems to think she will help us chase Edwin to an early grave. But I do not understand how. You do what you must, Eivor. I'll ready what men I've got for the coming fight. I'll move towards Kinnabella Castle and bring up the feared for an assault. Edwin's fortress is strong and sure. Is there anything I can do to weaken her grip on the Shire or make her anxious? Ah, there's a notion. You could chip away at her flag bearers if you see them and defend my feared if any are in strife. We stole some of her supplies here. If you find any other stores like this, destroy them. That I can do. When you're ready for war, you'll find me at a camp near Kinnabella Castle. Terrible waste, though. Half the crops rot because the farmhands are needed defending against me. Sooner, guide me. Oh, 
Non vivet in ignorantiae sue providentiae. Vel focibis auida mores necne. Hecris tristes. E non cupidum eorum. And here's Eivor. Ah, uh, you timed things well. The Holy Woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned at St. Albanes Monastery. Just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who this woman was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me, your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Edwin into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. I have already plundered St. Albanes Abbey and lifted its treasures from nave to crypt. I saw no prisoners of note. She is there. I know it. And she is the most valuable treasure of them all. Aver, there was a time when you would follow me without question, because we trusted one another, because you knew I would never lead you into folly, never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did, as your brother, your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray you. Y your trust in me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Gidrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. When you raided St. Albanes, are you sure you saw nothing? No crypts? No prisoners? Nothing I can recall for certain. What do we know of this woman? Very little. She oh, appears Cheryl. to be an adventurer of sorts. Thank you. 
asked about this lad, my friend. She appears to be an adventurer of sorts. The Thane called her a heretic. All the better for us. She is clearly someone who knows her own mind. I admire your optimism, brother. Give me a hand with this. Good plunder here! See you, old friend.
mystery that is the 24th mystery. Amen. Who dares enter this sanctuary? This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you? We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic! Ah, the self-begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometans, but by true Christians. Friar, our hands are bloody with the gore of your guardians. Is your guard so starved of martyrs that you wish to die as well? You make a fine point. Let me pray on this. The Lord bids me to welcome all strangers. Here, friend, take the key, and depart with your strange friend. Praise thee, Lord of the Treasury of Light, for this chance of deliverance. Are you sent by the angels of Sacklus? Or the self-begotten one above? That... I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm. A humble seeker of the self-begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of artifacts? The instruments of the children of Sacklus the Fool. Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object? A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, you're a curious one. A cowl and robes hiding tawny skin, and that devilish blade. Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Come. How long were you imprisoned? Some weeks, perhaps a month. For your so-called heresies? Heresies, yes. I have been blessed to discover many profane objects in my lifetime. Objects which attest to the works of the Demiurge, the false god worshipped by these robed imbeciles. Across Germania and Francia, I found these relics and carvings. And here in England, too. Lady Edwin claims they are blasphemous, but her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. May we see these objects? If you wish to know the truth of our origins, I will show you today. I would if... Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Fulke is a curator of objects of great worth. One of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory. About defeating Edwin. To know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory. 
It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods. Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. Will you buy and trade this stone for an alliance? Or more fighting men? Is it useful for anything other than flattering yourself? Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The languages are known and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all? Praise thee. Oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering god led me here, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eber. They spoke through me. Brother, you have my head spinning. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. The Saga Stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? The sooner we see this slab of rock, the better. Let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Ava. You may find it more interesting than you expect. What is it about this stone that captivates you, Fulke? The Saga Stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods, as do all the artifacts I collect for my church. You prayed to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the Church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why even low? such an idea yes Christians like her like like Alfred they believe Christ's purpose on earth was to wash us free of sin the Roman Church has been deluded by the lies of Saclus or Yaldabaoth the demiurge of many names a lesser god Saclus and his kind were wise in that time but they lost sight of the true God the self-begotten one Lord of the treasury of punished and imprisoned what she calls heresy is, in fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fulke. And I have not yet reached its end. Be on your guard. Someone is watching us. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy we're here. Eid means eyes and ears, no doubt. This is the place up ahead. What is this tower? A ruin from England's Roman past. My acolyte found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. The bishops of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret wisdom we possess. Brother Paul! Ransacked from floor to roof. 
Basil, stand guard outside. This was... Is this him, your acolyte Paul? My dearest friend. May you live as one with the true God in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You! Always questioning, second-guessing my wishes! You slowed us down, and I missed my chance! Basim fills your head with twisted prophecies. He leads you like a chained dog. Basim has shown me so much. He knows my mind. He... Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor, first we talk. Lady Edwin! A stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade. That stone, for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Gatred a word. Last stone! We will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this, you must bring me Gidrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. We do not... Avon! <laughs> no! Cut them down! <laughs> Leave none alive! Ava, are you mad? We have this. You doing this? We had our chance. We will speak of this. I will not forget. Minded fool! 
That was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood. I will not betray Giedrich. That is not for you to decide. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl, your brother and master. That's one new, Basim. I believe there will be other chances. We can keep our oaths and find the stone together. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Giedrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Giedrich. It was your plan all along. Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. Sit here and bemoan your fate, brother. I have a promise to keep, and I mean to. You think too much of yourself, Eivor. You... Victim of Odin. Come, Basim. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? All my life we've moved as one. As family. As kin. I've always known his mind, and he mine, until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You thought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? I will. Gidrit asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda, south of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd, brother, you're lost in a sea storm of your own making. Edwin's defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining Fulke.